inherited a house and it's vacant and you don't know what to do with the home insurance? I don't know. While you're figuring out what you're gonna do with the house? Well, that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Stick around. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Northern California, Silicon Valley area, and I specialize in selling houses that are in trust and in probate. And oftentimes people have inherited a property and the house is vacant. So what do you do with the house insurance in those situations? Well, there's a couple things to really pay attention to. Number one, call your insurance person first. Oftentimes there is a clause in the insurance when there is a death and um, it's inherited and people are trying to figure it out. So there could be a, a time frame where you are covered completely um, while you're sorting things out. You need to know what that time frame is. Because here's the thing about insurance companies. They love to wiggle out of not paying when there's a claim. I think most people have experienced that just with car or house insurance. Um, so here's the catch. When a house is sitting vacant, a lot of times insurance companies, just for regular homeowners, if you leave for more than 30 days, and let's say on day 31, your pipe you know, leaks, a uh, toilet overflows, maybe you had someone check on the house and they left and they flushed the toilet and it just ran and ran and ran and now there's some kind of flood, huge water damage in your house. If you've been gone for more than 30 days, a lot of insurance companies won't, you know, help you out. They won't, you know, pay for that claim because you'd left the house vacant. When a house is vacant for a long time, things like that can happen. There's a higher risk of a burglary or someone, you know, breaking into your house, causing damage. Um, there's a whole host of things that can happen when a house is just sitting there vacant and they don't know. So insurance companies will love to get out of paying you anything if it's been over 30 days. So in the case of an inherited property, a lot of times there's things to be done at the house. Someone like me is helping you fix it up before you're going to sell it. And it could take more than 30 days. So call the insurance company, figure out what the clause is on that insurance policy. So bite the bullet and pay for vacant home insurance. It can be well worth it if a house is here vacant. We're experiencing a higher number of break-ins in houses lately and they're targeting vacant homes. So pay a little bit for that insurance if it is going to be vacant so that you are covered. Just save yourself loss of sleep and headaches and stress and worry over it. But again, my number one advice, call your insurance person, figure out what the clause is, talk to them specifically. But don't just leave the house vacant and hope nothing will happen. So if you have any other questions about, you know, if a house is vacant, if you should fix it up or not, what you're doing before sale, what the value is, please don't hesitate to reach out. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And until next time, have a great one.